Awesome. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about this fishery and kind of the history. And I just learned it hasn't been open for fishing in like 28 years, which is pretty darn cool. Yes, the Warren Springs has been closed for quite a while. Um, I haven't fished this personally myself since I was a kid, probably like seven, eight years old. But as a kid, we used to float down this river on our inner tubes. And when Canada used to be open, we used to see all kinds of fly fishermen out here just catching their fish. And, uh, but now we're in a blessed opportunity to, to be able to guide on it and take our clients. We're the only ones that could do that. And we're also part-time caretakers of this river as well. So we're going to help restore it, try to get rid of the invasive plants and bushes. We're going to try to restore the trees that were burned down. Um, there's all kinds of different uh, species of fish in here. Just about every species of salmon you can think of. We even have a return of sockeye salmon that's been reintroduced probably four or five years ago. And they used to traditionally spawn in this river all the way up to uh, Mill Creek. So we have yeah, steelhead in here, big giant red sides. Uh, we have the fish hatchery four miles up the river. So. Very it's going to be a fun season. Looking forward to it. Very cool. And so the, the red sides and steelhead are, are native, right? To they are. They're the most unique fish, pound for pound, in my opinion. I think they're the hardest fighting fish. They have so much stamina. They'll give you a rodeo of a time. And uh, once once the red side gets over 17 inches, they have that like steelhead power that no other shot could have. And especially uh, when you get them near deeper river sections, those red sides... They'll, they'll give you your money worth for sure. Totally. I've hooked into a few that just peel line off like, like none other. So much fun. Well, thanks so much for taking me today. I appreciate it. You bet. Let's go have fun. All right. Let's do this. There we go. Nice. Woohoo! Oh, wow. Fish, oh man. He's got some spunk. Whoa! Jeez. He's got a little uh, gumption. I switched back over to the nib. Nice. Oh, gotta love that. Is that crab hit, huh? Yep. Oh. Nice, thank you so much. Wow. Beautiful fish. All right. Beautiful. Nice shot. Right. Thank you so much. There we go. Nice. Oh man. Just yeah. takes off. That is crazy how strong these guys are. I uh I lowered the indicator a little bit. Boy, he's strong. I'm gonna have to horse him a little bit. He might have gotten foul hooked or he's wrapped. Yeah. yeah. That hurts. <laughs> oh, it's there a good it fish. <laughs> <laughs> Still counts. <laughs> uh. Okay, calm down. Push some tail. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, get me out of here. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Woohoo! Fish Water bro. is life. <laughs> so this is our one of our first fish that are in season. This is a wild salary. In our language, we call it clumsy. And you pick it out of the ground and you peel it like a banana. And it has a very citrus taste to it. It's like salary, but way better. 
No yes, kidding. It's it's, uh, it's full of antioxidants that you won't get anywhere else. You can't buy this in the store. You won't find it anywhere. But in the springtime, on the the ground's like now, and in the hills, and a good indication to find them is when you see those yellow sunflowers out. Okay. Is when these are in full bloom. Very cool. Water is light. Very cool. Wow, that's good. Yeah. It's flavorful. Makes your breath smell good too. Nice. Are you trying to say something, Elke? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, it is, yeah, it's slicker than snot. Ready to do this? I'm gonna shove it over. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, just a little bit of water. That's crazy. Rock is definitely solid. Good job, Elke. <laughs> Got us out of a jam. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Yeah. I mean, this stuff just turns to liquid mush as soon as it gets wet. Yeah. That's crazy. This stuff is just like slime. That's crazy. Right, this is Rattling Snake Springs. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> no cap, I had my cap on. That's not gonna work too well. Oh, it's cold. Water is like. I'm gonna show you your launch point. Okay, see that black tip right yep. there? So that's gonna be your launch point when that black tip meets the rod. one out there. That one was, look at your gauge and your distance already. Oh, holy crap. Let it run, let it run, don't, don't. Oh, I totally, I totally <laughs> trapped at it, didn't I? <laughs> that was so bad. Is it? <laughs> it's still on there. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> That's on Elk's fly. Dude, that was a good fish. You see, and I'm not even going to edit that out. That's going in because that's just normal stuff. Yep, yep. So when they, when those, when you feel them hit, then just let them run. That was like a powerful hit. Yeah, they're going to run for a minute. Um, they're going to be at least a minute or two, a few minute battle with those ones. But it's fun, especially on these rods. And this is Elk's Fly, <laughs> Little Leaf Creations. That's pretty cool. Let's check that out. I am back. I am 
freeze and it is just a total rain out. My God, it said like 40% chance of rain and it is pouring. I mean, there was water starting to come down the road. Man, but how cool was it to be able to experience Warren Springs like that and be the first angler to catch a fish in almost 30 years. So friggin' cool. I'm so honored to be a part of it. I'm so happy that Elke and Alicia took me fishing today. So good. And I have to say, I recommend these two. These, these guides work hard. They know their fishery. They work hard. They're just, you know, probably, well, it is the best experience I've had with a guide ever. So I'm going to leave their information down in the uh, link of this video. There's no affiliation. I just want to highlight a solid guide service and uh, check them out. And if you want to come and check out the salmon, salmon fly hash, or really do any fishing on the reservation here that you can't do without a guide, they are the ones you want to call. All right, until the next time, fish on.